Hey everybody and welcome back to Kerbal Space Program RP0. We are catching back up with our Mercury Explorer mission as it is now time for it to make its mid-course correction. Uh, so our delay is 176 seconds. Awesome. Uh, I've just given it the order to turn its RCS on. I'm glad I left about five hours time. Uh, in between now and when the node actually is to get things set up. Oh no, this is our last ignition. I completely forgot about that when I foolhardily used an ignition to adjust that node. Well, crap. It's 81 meters per second. We've got 383 left in the tank. I would feel... <sighs> I would feel honestly very bad about... Um, using our last ignition for that when I could be using it to slow down at Mercury to give us more time to gather science. Which really isn't a huge deal. But, it, yeah, you know, every little bit helps, I guess. I don't know. We got a clear connection. That, isn't that good enough? So, all right, we'll just fast forward the few minutes it's going to take for that to catch up. Mm-hmm. All right, RCS is now unlocked. Right, yep, okay, good. Let's steer ourselves into the node. And I wonder how long it's gonna take to do 81.8 meter per second burn on just the back of our RCS. All right, so it's about three seconds per meter per second. Uh, I know that that's going to differentiate out, but I'm just trying to get a general idea of things. Two hundred and forty seconds. Four minutes even. All right. Okay, I didn't think we'd actually get anything useful. I was correct. So, uh, it'll take about four minutes to do this on the back of the RCS, at least. So, we've got five hours to warp through. I'm hoping that Kerbal Alarm Clock will kick in and save me. Oh god. Did it though, or did I do that? I don't know. I was just kind of clicking at very random intervals. All right, 10 minutes out. Three minutes, I want to get it right to three minutes, so about 19 seconds or so. Ah, fuck it, let's just go. All right, and the time warp jiggle. Which it uh, won't let me do full-on time warp. That's lovely. All right. Well, then. Come on, SAS. Do your job. Maybe our onboard flight computer will be better. Who knows? So, yeah, our AJ-10 is way more efficient. So, I don't know, maybe we'll end up running out of fuel and I will have just not used that ignition for no good reason anyway. But, regardless, it's way more powerful than these RCSs and RCSCs than the RCS. So, even if it, we just got a couple of drops of fuel left in it, it'd be better to use it uh, closer and we'll get a nice... I mean, we're not going, we're not going into orbit. That's just crazy talk. Not going to happen, but... Um, did it drop us out of time warp? It did drop us out of time warp, because there's our one minute warning. Delete on close. <laughs> that, that was very useful, Kerbal Alarm Clock. Alright, and we'll turn the RCS back off five minutes from now. Let's 
take a look. Oh, oh yeah. That was my goal, it was uh, 46 kilometers altitude. We're gonna come to about 338 or so whenever the RCS decides to stop screwing us. But that's a quality flyby. Uh, I don't know where Earth will be in relation to that. It doesn't really matter. We're gonna do it mostly through flight computer anyway. But uh, that's quality, dude. I'm very happy with this. That's gonna be a good flyby mission, hopefully. We can make smaller adjustments as we get a little closer. And uh, we'll be able to get some of that nifty low science also. And the gravity assist is going to fling us out a little past Earth. But it's certainly... God, it's hard to tell with all of these swimming lines everywhere. But it's certainly going to help make our adjustment. And there's our little Jupiter probe. That dude is cool. I really cannot wait to go back and revisit that mission all right but that's going to do it for our mercury probe adjustment we've got other things to attend to at the space center and well actually hold the phone before i get going should i just set it for the soi change yeah we need to set an alarm for this add alarm soi change 34 days oh man that actually might be sooner. No, our Mars one is in 32 days. Oh, great. Let's not crowd it up or anything. So, that's our next thing to do. It's our Earth-Mars window. And our first launch for that. And I'm not sure if we'll even have all the vehicles ready. Maybe three? We'll find out. Alright, let's see where we stand. Uh, we've got one ready. One will be ready in three days. Uh, this is taking 65 days on the secondary build rate. That might be ready in time. Uh, map set A might not be. We might just hang on to that one for Venus. Yeah, just a little bit of time warping just to see how things are progressing along. Sixteen days. Alright, so we'll have three of them ready to go for launch time. Come our Mars window. Sorry, man, I just... I just don't have the money to dump into you right now. I really don't. Alright, let's check our contracts. Uh, available was what I meant to hit. Science data from around Mars. Oh, we're already maxed out. I forgot to do the freebies. Oh no. Uh, space around Venus. Surface of Venus, we're waiting for that to swing around so we have line of sight again. Surface of Mars, we're doing. We're in progress and progress and progress. So our only freebie is space around Venus. Let's go take care of that right quick. And ooh, you guys get to see Venus with clouds. You've only really only seen it from the surface until now. Dude, it's awesome. Alright, where is he? Landed at Venus. Um What happened? Oh, and suborbital trajectory. That's misleading. 143 by 503. That's not that bad. Alright. Uh, where's Earth in relation? Over there. So our lander might actually be in... No too far below the horizon, but when our probe is overhead, it might have enough to relay. We'll have to check. No connection currently. Oh, that's, that's nice. Connected. Oh, come on. Analyze 
telemetry. That's going to take quite a while to get there, so uh, let's just... Where's our lander? Up there. And we're going the other way. And that's a long five minutes. That's done. Boom. Contract complete. No science to add. Now let's just see what happens when it's above the probe. Because it looks like it'll have line of sight. If we can get that surface science, I mean, we won't get any actual science for it, but we'll get a contract complete. That's always cool. Maybe. Should be viewing this from the other angle. Still below the horizon. Its batteries might be dead. It's on the nighttime side now and probably has been for quite some time. Eek. It's worth a shot, I suppose. And it should have connection now, so let's switch. If there's power, which I doubt, and if there's LOS, which there should be, we can do this. No connection. Why not? We have charge. Oh, we got connection. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Run science. 15 minutes. That's probably going to be way out of range 15 minutes from now. It's absolutely amazing that this thing still has connection. Unbelievable. It might not in 15 minutes, though. Uh, Alright. Up the warp. There's nothing we can do, really, except just uh, hope and pray. No connection. have to keep them until the next time it swings around. Oh, it's going to take 15 minutes to tell it to bring it up, isn't it? Let's just wait. This last one until the orbiter comes back around. <laughs> Come on. You should have it. No, not quite yet. Oh, the horizon thing is getting tricky. No connection still? Really? Yep. I guess not. Almost, though. Connected. Why is my science doohickey not showing up? <laughs> oh, I had kept it up there for this exact reason. Son of a bitch. Oh, this makes me very, very angry. Why did it go away? I wonder. Let's give it the run science command again. Uh, 15 more minutes. No connection. So we'll just stay down here on the ground. Oh, I wish I knew how long that orbit was. Damn it. I don't want to do this. Ah! As soon as we get connected, it just disappears. This is impossible. 
literally impossible. We're gonna have to just wait until it's uh Yeah, until it's got a better angle, which will be months and months and months and months. God damn it, if it isn't just barely over the horizon. But anyway, that's what Venus looks like with clouds. If you've ever looked at Venus through a telescope, it's just, just bright yellow dot. It's really pretty. I, I promise. It's, it's actually very pretty. Whereas, you know, the surface is a hellish landscape that has set our parachutes aflame. Nothing else really to look at. Alright. Uh, sorry that was kind of a bust, guys. Um, I guess that's going to do it for this episode. Thank you very much for hanging out. Next episode, we're launching repeatedly from Mars. So, I will see all of you then. Thanks for hanging out. I'll see you later.